Thursday welcome back to my channel as you can tell I just woke up um, quite literally my hair look at this look at this I get such a mullet when I sleep um, so I wanted to show you making my bed today because recently I watched a very inspirational video on Facebook that Jack showed me and it's of this Navy SEAL who used to make his bed every day and I'm gonna put a clip in because it's so damn inspirational and I'm also gonna link it below if you make your bed every morning you will have accomplished the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride and it will encourage you to do another task and another and another. And by the end of the day, that one task completed will have turned into many tasks completed. Making your bed will also reinforce the fact that the little things in life matter. If you can't do the little things right, you'll never be able to do the big things right. And if by chance you have a miserable day, you will come home to a bed that is made. That you made. And a made bed gives you encouragement that tomorrow will be better. So if you want to change the world, start off by making your bed. Naturally, I am not a tidy person. I do not have my life together. But since watching this video, I've become a changed woman and it's had like a big impact on me as a person. He talks about like, by making your bed every day, you complete a task every day. And no matter how bad your day is, you know you have completed a task when you make your bed. And so if there's one thing I can encourage you to do tomorrow or today, whenever you're watching this, it's go and make your bed. So today I kind of got a weird one. It's my work at home day, um, except I am going out for a bit because I've got a big dentist appointment today. I have a confession to make. I haven't been to the dentist in a very long time. Too long to say because it's embarrassing um, but like basically as an adult I haven't really been to the dentist which I know is terrible and I've never had a filling but that's probably because I haven't been to the dentist and my teeth feel okay but I'm gonna find out probably today how terrible they are and I'm a bit nervous about it so I'm gonna have a dentist friendly breakfast I don't even know what that is but I'm gonna have a dentist friendly breakfast <laughs> gonna hit the gym and then it's dentist time but first breakfast yeah let's focus on the important things food so happy with my made bed. Now I can get on with my day. my breakfast bar I'm just having my usual porridge with chia seeds and cinnamon with all my favorite toppings including Greek yogurt Greek yogurt on my oats is my current favorite thing it tastes like whipped cream on your oats but it just adds a source of protein and it's so delicious mmm so my plans have changed I had my breakfast I got ready I got dressed um, I got ready for the gym I'm in my gym stuff but I realized I didn't have enough time to go to the gym get back brush my teeth make sure I'm dentist ready so right now i'm busy working on my laptop getting my emails done getting life sorted then i'm gonna walk to the dentist it's about a half hour walk away so the plan is to walk to the dentist and then we'll catch up when we get there because i've got to bring you along for the ride i'm nervous i'm scared i need a friend i'm genuinely nervous about what they're gonna say i feel like a bit ashamed about how bad my teeth probably are please don't judge me <laughs> made it to the dentist so I've met all the lovely ladies who are going to be seeing me today so I'm seeing a treatment coordinator a dentist and a hygienist they need to get to work on this because it's been too long it's been too long I'm nervous what you're gonna say don't judge me <laughs> They've already, apparently you guys can already see the stuff we need to get done, but we're about yeah. to look at my teeth on a big screen. I'll warn you now, if it's scary, 
Um, <laughs> I apologise, but we're going to look at them and see what work I need doing. Um, so I'm hoping it's not too much, but uh, I am still really nervous. Like, I don't know, it could be awful. It could be awful. Um, you do have fluorosis on a lot of your teeth. Can you see how it's kind of speckled white? Yeah, yeah. Um, it can very often mean you've got strong teeth. Okay. Too much. Um, can cause them to not form properly, but for right. yourself, you've got a little bit of it, but generally people with this kind of fluorosis, they, they can have mm. strong teeth so they don't need fillings, which is good. Mm -hmm. um, so health-wise, everything is looking really good. Things are about to get a lot more real in here. Lana is going to be let loose <laughs> on my teeth. Okay, this is the before. Oh, then I'm going to show you the after. So, we just finished cleaning my teeth. Oh my goodness. I feel like a whole new woman. This is an incredible feeling. I'm going to show you the before and after. They're sending me the pictures. So here's the before, which is horrible and disgusting, I know, and totally gross, and I'm naughty for not going to the dentist for about five or six years. But here's the after, and I'm a new woman, and I'm going to look after my teeth. This is how I'm going to stay, if not get better. Massive difference. Should we go, can we go to the before? Yeah, that's just... Like getting them all next to each other like this. Yeah. Oh my goodness. In one hour, this is my before and after. One hour. Okay, disgusting. Amazing. I'm so, so happy. Thank you so much for looking after me. <laughs> Lana is the lady behind my transformation. One hour. I can't believe that. One hour. Wow. Wow. So I finished at the dentist and I've come to get myself some lunch. I've got the vegan meze salad at Leon, which my friend Megan designed. I have a crushed pea salad and a mint tea. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead to the gym. So right now I'm coming at you from the future, but I think this is going to be really useful for you to help you understand how I structure my workouts in the way that I do and how I think you can get the most out of planning your workouts and structuring your personal gym sessions. Now if you've watched a lot of my workout videos, you might notice a similar pattern and this is what I'm going to explain to you today. It's super simple. All my workouts start off with a big compound movement. So generally compounds are squats, deadlifts, pull-ups, leg press, hip thrusts, etc, etc. So with the workout coming up, you'll see I started with my deadlifts and then I went into pull-ups. That's because I really wanted to cover a lot of bases nice and quickly. And then as my workout goes on, you'll see that the volume increases. For my first few exercises, I was looking to do about six to eight reps of each exercise. So for the deadlifts, I was doing eight reps and for my pull-ups, which for me was a harder exercise that time, I'm aiming to do about five to six reps. When you're working between a one and six rep range, you're generally working in your strength range. And when I was working on my deadlifts, I was doing an eight rep max, which is the lighter side of strength training and is more moving into hypertrophy training, which focuses on increasing muscle mass. So as the workout goes on, I move into the hypertrophy kind of range. So then for the second circuit that I'm doing, I'm moving into the eight, 10, 12 rep range. And that is me working in hypertrophy zone. And then moving on to my final circuit, I increase the volume once again, and I often add in body weight movements. If I've been working hard enough through those first five exercises, my body should be fatigued and tired, and by the end, I'm just overloading with a hypertrophy rep range to more endurance-based rep range. So after 12 reps, anything from kind of 12 to 20 reps, you're looking at endurance-based rep ranges. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to go into a bit more depth about why I choose particular rep ranges and the kind of more science behind it all. Let me know below if that's something you're interested in. But just for this video, I start off with my strength training, I move into my hypertrophy training, and then I finish off at the latter end of the hypertrophy training, moving into endurance, and then I do my finisher, which is all about a high intensity finisher to get my heart rate up expend more energy and use my time effectively. I don't like to train for more than an hour. So when I've got all of those bits in, I know my body's got a thorough workout in, I'm hitting all the targets I wanna get 
through my training. And depending on my client's goals when I'm personal training, that's pretty much how I structure my client's training too. We always start with our heaviest lifts first, and then we move and the weights get a little bit lighter and we do more reps. And then they get a little bit lighter again and we do even more reps, and then we do our high intensity finisher. And I'm gonna leave the full breakdown of the workout you're about to see in the info box, so check that below. So enjoy this upper body workout because it killed me. You'll see at the end quite how sweaty I was. It was pretty grim. <laughs> I'm shaking, my hand's shaking, this is very steady. If you add me on Instagram, you can go check out my ab workout that I did at the end of this. I'm trying to do more core stuff at the end of my workouts um, because I really want to increase my core stability so it helps with like the pull-ups and the deadlifts that you saw at the beginning. Okay, it's really loud in here, I hope you can hear me. But um, time to go home, I'm so sweaty. Look at these baby hairs, they're out of control. <laughs> So I'm back from the gym, in my fluffy dressing gown, had a shower, washed my hair, um, but look who's with me! Abby, show yourself! Yay! Hi. Abby's here, I've just made us dinner. We're having chicken and roast veg and yummy stuff. Um, and we're gonna have a girls' night. I've made us chicken, roasted sweet potato and butternut squash, roasted courgette and broccoli, easy peasy, chuck it all in the oven. Oh, this is seasoned with Cajun spices. Yeah, that's our dinner. And for dessert, I'm having Greek yogurt with the Form chocolate peanut butter protein powder in blueberries, that chocolate, more peanut butter. And we're watching YouTube videos because we're, we're rock and roll! Rock and roll! Obviously, I got totally distracted with Abby and completely forgot to finish off the vlog. We did just watch YouTube videos the whole evening and dance around my kitchen to 2000s R&B and hip hop. I know you want to be our friends. I know we're cool. Just saying. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to show you my day in the life. I wanted to show you my teeth. I wanted to show you that workout. Kind of random vlog today. I wanted to show you what I was eating in a day. Like I said in my last what I eat in a day video, I am trying to have more vegetarian meals. So I had my vegan lunch, but as you can see, I'm still eating meat occasionally. So having like chicken for dinner and things like that. I'm still trying to keep meat in the minority rather than the majority. And if you want to know more about that whole thing, then definitely check out that last wait and day video. I'll link it up here. And I also really hope you found that whole explanation about structuring workouts a little bit useful. Let me know if you want me to go into a bit more depth about that. I would love to do that. So if you did like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you again for the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Mwah. Goodbye. Bye.